have to talk about the quad a little bit because it's the most fascinating device. It looks neat. It does its job. Remar I I'm telling you guys, it is so accurate. But what, I mean, there's nothing else that can be added. You've done it. You've, you've figured out how to put everything together. What can be next? Or is this what you guys envisioned is the perfect device? Well, let me explain a little bit about how the quad works. So these four cameras uh, that are that are called quadroscopic are looking at the same uh, images in 3D space at the same time. Um, so both the club head and golf ball. Um, because of their perspectives, so a camera looking from this perspective and one from another right. perspective, and uh, from other perspectives, that gives us high uh, resolution in looking at subtle changes in angle, rotation, and movement mm -hmm. and speed. Um, um, that's even greater than the GC2 and HMT. Uh, uh, 10 to 20 times uh, more information than we were getting with the previous product because wow. of that, that perspective. And uh, we've increased uh, the amount of information because of wide angle lenses give us more information of, uh, of the golf ball and of the club head. Um, and again, more, more accuracy and precision are, are, are derived from that uh, because of the modeling of both the ball and the club. That, and we've also added a barometer that measures barometric pressure, so outdoor uh, conditions we can measure. That was one of the correct. coolest parts that I found out is yeah. you adding the barometer. Yeah. With the GC Quad just now coming out, it's shipping. And the early feedback you're getting is substantially better than what you already had, which was a fantastic product. And a lot of people say the standard when doing fittings and things like that in stores everywhere. Yeah, that's right. So the GC2 uh, has probably sold more golf equipment than any other product in the world uh, in history of, of launch modern technology. We came in at a great time with a great product that was reliable and cost effective in mainly the indoor environment and that helped us capture that 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 that, that level of, uh, in, of understanding. And then um, customers that would come into location would trust the data because they'd say, yep, that's what my shot looks like on the screen. I could see. Right. I hit a little bit of fade, I hit a little bit of draw, I hit a hook or I hit a slice, whatever the case. And they would trust it by knowing, yep, those are my distances and that's my shot shape. And then uh, 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 building forward onto that with the advancement of aligning the alignment uh, feature built into the mm -hmm. uh, quad to be able to make sure you effectively and accurately align to a product, uh, target, whether it's indoors or out. And then the greater field of view and then um, the ability to increase resolution and those measurements into one product, yes, the feedback has been overwhelming. By the next PGA show and by the year, we'll have new, uh, probably up to eight to 10 new gaming uh, applications. And then there's features that we're adding in. Uh, one that's very prominent for us and will, will have a great impact on the golf industry, especially in fitting, is a putter application. So the quad will be able to uh, characterize the delivery of the putter head in 3D space and capture all the information that we do currently about other equipment, whether it's a wedge, an iron, or a driver. So um, then we'll be able to characterize the launch condition of the golf ball and over uh, about two, two and a half foot of its uh, roll and hop or whatever the case is, um, characterizing what that performance looks like. <laughs>